good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Bell Arms cooking channel. Today I'm just going to be bringing to you a breakfast sandwich. So what I have in a pan already is I'm sauteing my onions. So you know when you're making a breakfast sandwich that you should saute your vegetables that you're going to put in there beforehand. And sauteing is just heating it up a little bit, you know, so that um, they're not cold or too raw when you go in. So we will be having an egg, some cheese, some onions, and I had some crab cake that I had from last night for my Valentine's um, dinner. So um, I'm gonna cut some of that up and I'm gonna saute that. And we're gonna get this breakfast sandwich on the roll, honey. Let's turn this heat up. I have a little bit of vegetable oil inside the pan just to saute my, my hubby getting ready to go to work so I'm gonna make him a breakfast sandwich of course he was like oh I don't need nothing I'm just gonna stop and get something no you're not cuz I'm gonna make it how about that yes get up and make him a breakfast sandwich he made me such a lovely dinner last night cuz he knew he had to work on Valentine's Day so he made lobster he made crab cakes, he made stuffed salmon, um, we had vegetables, we had fruit, we had wine. It was so lovely. I had chocolate, so it was all lovely. So I'm going to get up this morning and make him a nice breakfast sandwich. And you say, everybody makes a breakfast sandwich, but I'm going to make a breakfast sandwich. Yes, I saute them onions right on up. When you cook onions, they always smell so good. I have my two eggs already separated in the bowl. Let me get so you can see it. I have my two eggs already separated in the bowl. Um, this is my crab cake right here. I'm going to saute that. Basically, like just heating it up. This pan right here is the one I'm gonna make my egg on. So if I had that one on the side, I think I'm gonna get a better spatula. I need to upgrade my spatulas. Hopefully, everything goes right. We looking to move, which is a blessing. So just pray for us and pray that we get this house. We working on it. Everything looks like it's promising right now. And everything looks like it's trying to go through. So work with us, pray for us. All those that know the word of prayer, pray for us. Even if you don't know the word of prayer, just pray that we get this house. Yeah, as we go to settlement, March the 1st. So... It is Valentine's Day, and we still got a couple more weeks ahead of us. And I was always told that it's always right before you get ready to go to the table, that there's always something that they come up with. You know, either push their, their settlement date back or something else you may need. So just pray that we have everything and we're just moving this right along. So soon, if everything goes well, Lord's being, we'll be shooting our videos from another location. However, this is my onions, nice and sauteed. Put them in there. And I'm going to use the same pan because it has a little bit of oil already in it. And I'm just going to, um, whoop. There it is. Here, my salmon cake. That may need a little, nah, I really don't want to put nothing in, I just want to uh, heat it up. So I'm really not going to spend nothing in it. That's why I made sure I had me a separate pan on the side. I got my spray out. I'm sipping on my apple cider. Oh my God, this is so good. Um, instead of having like tea in the morning, let me show you what I have. This is so good. For the K-Cups. Oh my God, this is so good. This apple cider. Child, yes. 
You should try it. That is very good. Yeah, so I'm heating that crab cake up. Because I don't want to put it in my egg, you know, and it be cold. So. And I'm doing this all on TV, to sh all, all on camera to show that it doesn't take much to make you a breakfast sandwich. So, saute that up. And put this frying pan over here a little bit. Wipe some water on it. Yada yada. That. Come over here. I got my pan off, my trash pan right here already. So, you may want to move in a little bit closer. Let me see if I can get you a little bit closer. Make sure ain't nothing wet right here. I'll move you in a little bit closer. This is a little wet right here. I don't want my camera to get wet. So move you in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. When I get ready to make the egg. Because I'm getting ready to make the egg, my lovelies. So I'm heating up the pan. I'm turning it up a little bit. I wanted to get warm. And yeah, see? It's heating up lovely. What I'm going to do is I'm spraying this down. So something like butter. Yep. I'm turning, I'm turning the fire down a little bit. Letting it cool just a little bit because I don't want it too hot. I'm going to spray down my utensil. I'm waiting for that to heat up. Yes. And see, I have my egg. I have my spoon that I sprayed. And what I'm doing here. Is shifting the egg white. I should have had a my. I should have used a smaller pan because it would have uh, covered the pan more. Drop my egg. Wasn't ready to drop my egg yet. But I done messed that up. I'm gonna have to do it over again. Oh my god, it didn't come out like I want it. I'm gonna have to do it over again. Give me a second, cause mama had to do it again, do it again. Don't worry, since I messed that one up, I'm gonna redo it. But what I did was just make a, the breakfast sandwich this way. So here you have it. But I'm getting ready to do it again, cause I want you to see the way I'm gonna make the other one. So this is the breakfast sandwich from my hubby. You got cheese, the crab meat, and onions on there. And I put it in wax paper, and then you cut it. And then you have it. But don't worry, I'm still going to be back. Mm -hmm. Look at that breakfast sandwich. Good, good, good. But I'm still going to make the other one. All right, we're going to resume and do this one more time. I'm going to spray our pan down. a little empty. Let me get the candy out of the head. There we have it. I'm spray our spoon. I'm get my bread together. Put that in the toaster. That's on down. I'm gonna let this heat up just a little bit. And again, as you see, I'm, I use the spoon with the holes so that it catches the egg. And I pour the yolk. Because basically I'm getting the egg white. That's basically what I'm trying to do. Just make sure I just get the egg white. And I turned the fire down so it's not cooking as fast. Why I try to do this. As you see, I said try to do this. You say 
But why didn't you just use some egg white? Look at that egg come down. Trying to get all the egg. There you go. Trying to get all the egg up out there. And I had to redo this. Uh, this isn't just um, the two eggs. Actually, the egg white I used, I need is a total of four eggs. So, because you see, the first time when I did it, it didn't come out the way I wanted it to because I didn't have enough egg white. I'm sorry, I added some more. I made a little bit of white pepper. I'm just going to let that cook up. Make sure that we, you want to make sure that the egg yolk cooks. You don't want no bubbles of egg, so that's why I'm breaking it up so this egg right in between can cook. I don't want those uh, bubbles of egg sitting there. Yes, I really didn't want to uh, make holes in my egg white either. So just cover it on up with some more egg white. You see me? Anyone at home can do this. See? And then, once it got like that, now I'm going to take the egg and put it on top. Now I'm going to take my onions. Oh, there's my toast. Should have just used my hands because I wanted to sprinkle all over. It's all right. I use my crab cake. And I'm using mozzarella cheese. Get my toast out the toaster. Oh, that that burnt. Let me turn it down. I don't know what happened on that. Oh, 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 look. Look, see, I, I need to take that off the fire because you don't want to get to keep cooking while I turned around to focus on my toast. My toast burnt. So I need to go ahead and turn that down and put another piece in. But I need to take that off the fire because I don't want it to burn up. Even though it's down low, it's still because it's egg, it cooks fast. So let me put that to the side. And let me just come on over here with this, like this. Basically, I'm a, whew, look at that. You see that? You see me? See me? See me? See me? Let me move this out the way a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Come on a little closer. See? Just come. I fold it that way also. Then fold this way. Make sure you hold it. And I'm going to flip it. There it is. Just like that. And I have the heat on low so it can do its thing while waiting on the toast. That's how I wanted it to look. Yes, that's how I wanted it to look. But you would definitely need more egg white. So my preference to this is, is you know, they sell. Excuse me, I got to sneeze. <coughs> excuse me. Yes, I put my face inside my shirt so it didn't go all over the place. But they sell egg white in the store. You know, you can buy the egg white in the store, the container, and add more egg white and then just crack your two eggs and add it on top. So, basically that's that. You take my bread up. Put it on here. Bam. Put that on my bread like that. And move this off the fire because you don't want the pan to keep cooking. And then I put that there like that. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that baby for you. And let me back you up a little bit because I can't cut it on the uh, stove because, mind you, it's hot. So, we're going to back this up a little bit. Move this over here. Bring it here so you can start and cut it. 
so you can see. And there we have it. Ah, Cause you know, some people like the yolk. I like the yolk on my sandwich, but look at that. Yes, yes, yes. So there you have it. That cute little egg white sandwich. I hope you like, enjoy. Tasty, it's very tasty. I had it before. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the Bellums. And keep us liking those comments, hitting that subscribe button, and we bring you back more home cooking with the Bellums.